Good morning, St. Thomas More. I just have one quick announcement before I hit two good news items. Uh, we've had, as we've started back to more of a regular semester, we've had some issues with conflict among students. And I just want to remind students that when you're faced with something that's upset you, you kind of have two options. You can either ignore it if it's not a big deal, or you can report it. But engaging in a confrontation does not solve anything. In fact, makes a lot of things worse. And I know that we're talking right now to maybe 5% of the school, but I also want to recognize the other 95% have a role in making this uh, a better place to be. Uh, please don't congregate at such, uh, such events. And if you have volatile friends, do your best to protect them, report things so that things can be handled properly uh, at the school. Uh, we are a proud St. Thomas More family and we just have to do a better job of acting like that every day. Uh, now to my two good news items. Firstly, I want to thank and congratulate the students of diversity, um, the, the diversity club, Ms. Martyrs and Mrs. Holmes, uh, arranged for a great guest speaker last week in the, in the forum, or sorry, in the uh, lecture hall. Uh, Francis Atta spoke to groups of students about uh, mental health and did a wonderful job. We are very fortunate here at St. Thomas More to have two groups, United Against Racism and Diversity, working in many ways towards the same goal, and that is equity and a more just society. And we got a lot of work to do, but we're on the way, uh, thanks to the work, good work of those two groups. And finally, I want to congratulate and thank Ms. Saranko's healthcare class. I was considering uh, just going there and surprising you myself, but I thought I'd do it on announcements. They uh, were honorable mentions for their contributions to Eat a Beat. And uh, they won $500 for our breakfast program, another great volunteer activity run by people at our school to make the school uh, a better place to be. So with that, I really want to thank and uh, congratulate Ms. Sarenko's class, $500 to St. Thomas More Breakfast Club. Certainly will have a great effect. And uh, I do just congratulate them on what a great job they did. So with that, I hope you have a wonderful week back at school. Hope you enjoyed the snow day and the family day and you're ready to get back to work. Have a great day. Good morning. This is an important message for all graduates regarding grad photos. Grad photos are being taken this week on February 22nd, which is today, and tomorrow, the 23rd, in room 314, 314. It is really important that you keep your appointment. You must email LuxArt Studios if you need to cancel your appointment for any reason. If you cannot remember when your appointment is, the main office has a list and you could also ask the photographer in room 314 if they are available. You must bring a $10 sitting fee and wear a white shirt and bring a tie. Although they might have some ties at the, in room 314 with the photographer as well if you forgot yours. There are limited spots available and you may not be able to reschedule if you miss your appointment. You may have to go to LuxArt Studios in Ancaster to take your photos separately or you may miss your chance altogether. Please be responsible and make note of your appointment or put a reminder in your calendar on your phone so that you don't miss out. You do not want to make your grandmother or parents or guardians cry when you tell them that they will not have a portrait of you to mark this important milestone. So don't forget, if you have a grad photo appointment booked, please keep your appointment. They are this week in room 314. Thank you on behalf of Miss Susie. Pink Shirt Day is a day when people come together by wearing pink shirts to school or work to show they are against bullying. 
The focus for 2022 is lift each other up. Pink Shirt Day began when David Shepard and Travis Price witnessed a grade 9 boy who was being bullied for wearing a pink shirt. They took a, sca- they took a stand against bullying when they protested against the harassment of the student by distributing pink t-shirts to all the boys in their school. Travis and David showed that it doesn't take much to make a huge difference. Pink Shirt Day has turned into a global anti-bullying day. Tomorrow, we encourage everyone to wear a pink top with regular uniform bottoms to symbolize that we do not tolerate bullying. So wear a pink shirt tomorrow and stand up against bullying every day. Let's lift each other up, STM. Good morning, STM. My name is Athena, and here are your announcements for today. To all grade nines, tens, and 11 students running the University of Waterloo Math Contest tomorrow morning, please report to the library at 9.15 a.m. Prefect tutoring will be taking place today and Thursday at lunch at your lunch periods in student success. Drop by if you need any assistance. The diversity committee will be having a Black History Month Kahoot after announcements today based on the content that was posted, played, or heard all last week during mental, uh, on mental health and wellness. Sorry, stay tuned. Please dismiss the junior girls volleyball team at 2 p.m. for the game uh, today for the game against Newman. Go team! And now for your sports. Last Thursday in boys hockey action, your Knights defeated SJB 8-5. Led by two goals each by Eric um, Majura and Alex Fuzon, yeah. the boys turned in their best defensive performance on, of the season. Other goals were scored by Dante Kakuza, Matteo Retta, and Matteo Moro. Rookie Reed Gooby made, a big, uh, made many big saves between the pipes in his high school debut. Next practice is Wednesday at 4 p.m. at Shadok. Thanks, STM. Happy Black History Month, STM. I'm Kyla. And I'm Dana. And we're from United Against Racism. In honor of Black History Month, UAR is celebrating significant people of African descendants through social media posts and school posters. Today we celebrate Marce Martin, an American actress who also set a Guinness World Record as Hollywood's youngest executive producer at age 14. This young entrepreneur is a constant reminder that possibil- possibilities are limitless when you're passionate and dedicated. You can learn more about this record-breaking woman at stm.unitedagainstracism on Instagram. Thank you, STM. And have a great day. STM, those are all of your announcements. The time is now 8.24. Have a great day.